Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all. It is TGI fish segment of the week. And y'all know it is summertime. It is hot. And the next few months, my TGI fish segment of the week going to be a lot of lighter. Not a lot of deep fried and heavy items. We're trying to do light things. A lot of things I'm going to be doing in my, my, uh, my uh, air fryer. Like I told you, I got two or three air fryers. I like to use this one because this is already on my counter. It's very convenient. But any air fryer work for what, what I do when I do my air fryer uh, videos. But what I'm doing today, you see by the PV pitch and the and the Snyder, I love salmon. Yeah, I absolutely love salmon. I love salmon baked, broiled, grill it. I absolutely love it. I got a net here, y'all. That's part of the summer, having nets around. But I'm going to do it in my air fryer here. I'm going to just sear it off. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper. That's all you need. One thing about salmon, y'all. Uh, salmon doesn't take much to it. It doesn't take a lot of flavor and seasoning. Salmon, if you know, has a very fatty, has a natural flavor. All you need is a little salt and pepper. I might put a little cabinets on there. And that's it. Do not put too much uh, uh, seasoning on salmon. It doesn't take it, y'all. Especially with salmon. Such a flat, I mean, like I say, just a, such a fatty fish nice fish doesn't take long to cook please don't overcook salmon if you overcook it you're gonna have a crumbly dry just just deteriorate irritating uh piece of fish also y'all move this up out the way these are something i love in the summer they're available all year long but in the summertime these are heirloom tomatoes if y'all don't know these are heirloom tomatoes and they are so flavorful they good grilled they good inside it. See that? And you can find them in the stores now pretty much everywhere. The farmer markets have them a lot. Happen to get these at the farmer's market. But what I like to do with my heirloom tomatoes, I'll slice them. Sometimes I slice them in hunks depending on it. I put up some onions. Sometimes I use red onions. I don't keep a lot of red onions in my house. I keep the sweet onions by day or the 10, 15 onions. I always keep these around. So that's what I usually make with it. You can put red onions if you want. Uh, uh, for the presentation, a little more sweetening. But then I like to add, uh, I'll show y'all when I put this together. I like to add a little salt and pepper in it, my Italian dressing. Then I put fresh balsamic vinegar. I always have three vinegars in my house, balsamic, red wine vinegar, and sherry vinegar. Those three vinegars I always have, other than white vinegar. I always have them three because I love making salad dressings. Of course, I have buy some, but I love making, put a little oil in there, a little sugar, a little vinegar, whip it up, whisk it up. You got fresh salad dressing all the time. So I'm going to show you all how I put this together, and uh, I'm going to get back, step off, prep up my tomatoes, show you how I cut them up, get my salmon prepped up. And this meal is so easy to put together, and I eat this all the time. People say, how you say slim? Hey, I don't eat heavy foods. You see me make all these videos, I eat a love, and I give it away, or I eat in moderation. That's very, very important, y'all. Like I say, in the next three months, I'm going to be doing a lot of cool salad, like pasta salads and English pea salads and grilled things and stuff in the, like I say, in the air fryer. It's too hot. My oven, one time I went two weeks without cutting on my oven. I was doing everything in the air fryer. I might grill it outside or something. No, this time of the year is hot. Everybody know that 100 degrees, most all over the country. So we need to know how to do things quick, easy, and uh, we're not cutting on our ovens. We'll get back to that in September. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back once I uh, get my tomatoes cut up, my salmon all prepped up, and we'll be ready to go. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, I got my tomatoes cut up, and I left one just to show y'all how I cut the tomatoes up. I cut them up in different shapes and contrasts to how that, the, the eating experience. That's all it is, y'all. You don't have to do it like this. What I do, I'll cut that little end off here. That little end, I'll cut that off. And I'll cut it in half. Then the first half, I'll cut in wedges, just like this. Just little wedges, just like this. No more thing here. Okay, I got some wedges there for my eating experience. And then the next one, all I do, cut it straight. I'll cut these in large chunks like this just cut in large chunks it just gives me a different eating experience you know that's all it is 
when I'm eating it and the different contrasts and how I pick it up with the fork. That's all it is. Okay, y'all. Now in this bowl, I got my, I got me some, like I say, some thinly sliced onion. I started by onion, very, very thin. Thin as you can get them. Uh, see that? See how I slice it? Very thin. So I got the onions. Let's say this side is very, very simple. I want to put the salad together before I start the sandwich. I like the salad to set up like 30 minutes. All I do, y'all, throw my tomatoes in here. Very simple. Nice colors. And like I say, y'all, sometimes I eat this just by itself with nothing else. With it. I might have a sandwich in this. Put my onions in here. Get them all in there. Now, here goes the fun stuff. Now, what I do, I put a little salt and pepper. Let me grab my salt and pepper. Nice. Get it over here out the way. Put a little salt and pepper in here. Not a lot, y'all. Little salt and pepper for. Now, this the only dressing I usually buy for a salad that's like a vinegary base is wishbone Italian. I love wishbone Italian. I'll put a little of this in here, not a lot, because I got other dressing inside it. Put a little of that, just a little. Give me that little contrast of flavor. Now, for this particular, I like a little sweetness. I'll put balsamic. But before I do that, I'm going to show you different dressings. Like I said, I make a lot of dressings. I eat a lot of salads with homemade dressings, y'all. Let me move this thing and put it in the board over here. Balsamic is pretty much my favorite. That's usually my favorite uh, vinegar. But I also use white wine vinegar, which is this one. Put the balsamic in the back. I use white wine vinegar. I use that a lot. I like sherry vinegar. I make dressings with that. I use walnut vinegar. Just give a contrast, with, especially with salads you're going to eat with fish. I use walnut vinegar. I have a fig vinegar, which gives it a sweetness. I use that. I like a white balsamic vinegar. I use that too. It's different than white wine vinegar. And then uh, I have a white, another white balsamic here. And then also, if y'all never seen this, this is good that to garnish your salads and fish with. It's like a glaze. I'm gonna put a little of this on my fish when I finish cooking it. Put a squirt a little of this balsamic glaze on there. It absolutely brings out the flavor and it contrasts and it really goes well with your eating experience. But yeah, y'all, that's all the different vinegars that I actually have. And uh, of course I have red wine vinegar and I have apple cider vinegar and white vinegar. I use them in the vinegars on a weekly basis, especially in the summertime. Of course, y'all probably don't cook as much as I do. So y'all might not have these many vinegars around in the house, but yeah, I love my vinegars. Okay, back to this. Now I'm gonna just put a little balsamic in here. This is gonna add the sweetness that I'm looking for, y'all. It don't take much. And then if I always need something on the table, I can always add more later on the table. But and then I just mix them together just like this, y'all. And I'm gonna put a little, little olive oil in here, kind of give that contrast a shine too to it. I absolutely love this stuff, y'all. Like I said, you can use a white balsamic too if you want to. Let me get a little oil here. Let olive oil in there. Kind of bring it together. And that's it, y'all. I can sit down here, put me a nice uh, program on TV, and put this in the refrigerator and let it get. Cause you can. It's good at room temperature too. And this also good to. Uh, Take the potlucks and stuff like that. Because it and picnics outside, it does good outside. Just room temperature, it's not gonna hurt. It's tomatoes. All the thing in here, tomatoes and onions, a little vinegar. Not nothing here that's gonna really spoil in, in a few hours. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna let this sit right here and marry a little bit. And I'm gonna be right back and we're gonna get this salmon together. And we're gonna have our old school soul food TGIF fish segment of the week. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, salmon here. I got it on my little pan here for my air fryer. I'm telling y'all, all I'm gonna do, y'all, keep this thing very simple. Keep it simple, keep it simple. I'm gonna put a little spray on top of here so the seasoning kind of sticks. 
salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper on it. That's all it needs, y'all. Salt and pepper on there. I'm going to put a little of my cabinets here. A little cabinets kind of take it to the next level. And that's it. Y'all know cabinets is it's good on stuff, but when it goes on fish, it takes it to the next level. So we're going to put it here and uh, and I'm going to do 400 degrees about, I'm going to set it about five minutes, y'all. I'm going to check it out to five minutes at 400. Got it here. I'm going to do the time here. I'm going to do six minutes here. 400 degrees. And if I need to go again, I'll go a little bit more. But it don't take long on salmon at all. Especially this thin salmon. So you definitely don't want to overcook it. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back when it's ready. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. Six minutes, perfectly cooked. Um... 400 degrees. That's a perfect, not overcooked, very moist. Look at this, y'all. See that? That's how you want your salmon to look. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to step off here. I'm going to get everything plated up. And I'm going to come back here. And we're going to try this nice salmon with these nice tomatoes. This is so light, y'all, and a refreshing TGIF uh, fish segment. Like I say, the next few months next couple of months is going to be all about light uh, broad grilled items with a nice salad or slaw next to them it just it just fits the summer it's just so hot you don't want to eat nothing heavy fried fishes and stuff like that just you just don't so anyway y'all we'll be right back all right y'all we are back here now, i know this plate looks fancy but look y'all that y'all know this didn't take nothing at all to, to make y'all you got your nice cucumber to, and uh now, yeah you know cucumber well, i'm gonna tell you why i got cucumber on my mind this is a tomato and onion salad with some vinaigrette grilled uh, uh raw salmon but you can put cucumbers in it if you like i don't keep a lot of cucumbers in my refrigerator um and more than i do tomatoes because i use cucumbers on my salad i eat every day but the chef life on cucumbers is so bad right now so anyway y'all first thing i'm gonna do i like to you know that balsamic that i told you about i like to drizzle a little of this all this is the balsamic reduction y'all it's a balsamic it's a little thicker let me put a little on there uh, see. you gotta well, kind of watch i like to squirt a little on my fish it's a little thicker all this is a re reduction of balsamic vinegar and uh this what you get you know when you reduce anything vinegar especially for salmon you're gonna get that uh, thickness in it and it goes so well on the salmon y'all you know i love the skin of the salmon look how flaky and juicy that is see not overcooked see that mm. let me get a little tomato here tomato and get a little bite of tomato after the salmon it's so refreshing y'all it's just green summer especially when the tomatoes are perfectly ripe and that green look at that good bite here a little onion on there look at that mm. nothing fattening about this y'all really a little oil i put in <clears throat> i just can't see how beautiful that salmon is perfectly flaky look at that Six minutes, 400 degrees, listen fry, perfectly salmon. Y'all see I'm in my element, cause I eat this all throughout the summer. And you want to put rice with it, you can. You know I don't have no starch on here. Put rice with it, look at that. Mm. And you can use any fish you want. I'm using salmon because I love it. Broil. That's my favorite broil fish. It goes well with that balsamic. And you can find that balsamic reduction in the store, y'all. Right over there with all the other vinegars. Probably never noticed it. Mm, 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 mm. 
It's a meal right here, y'all. Meal in itself. I don't need nothing else. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, y'all, here's the glaze here if y'all want to look at it again. People be asking. I don't use balsamic glaze, a balsamic reduction in the store. They have it. I get all my stuff in bulk because I use a lot of it. So that's why I use big, huge bottles. I buy the huge bottles in bulk because I use a lot. Because that make a lot of sadness. But anyway, y'all, let me close the video out where I can eat. If you like this video, please share, please comment. Please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. And the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed weekend. I love y'all. Bye.